be really heavy. Well, aren't I going to have the best time today? I'm going to cut these pumpkins open and these are French heirloom varieties. And I haven't seen them inside before and so I thought we would go through this together and see what's going to be in the guts of these pumpkins. So excited. One thing I have learnt in the past is sometimes a knife just doesn't cut it and so hello Recipro saw. You know I love the tools and um, I'm also outside because the first time I did this was inside with the Recipro saw and it threw stuff everywhere so we're outside today for less mess. So let's get stuck into it. This one is a French heirloom, warty, gorgeous, something so ugly that only a mother could love. And I'm the mum, and so I love it so much. It's stunning, and I can't wait to see what it is. I can't pronounce the name of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but I planted like so many. Here we go. We just get stuck in. That looks good apart from the bruised flesh that I just did big beautiful seeds so I can replant I'll pull them out and put them on paper towel and put them in a paper bag and I'll write on warty French heirloom pumpkin that flesh is really quite firm and solid there so I think it's gonna be a good roaster beautiful color look at it all right we've done one let's do the next this one, I have no idea what this other one is. Never grown this one before either. So it's stunning. Absolutely, nearly too pretty to cut into, but yeah, there we go. yellow Ooh. okay Ooh. no it's definitely pumpkin gosh that's pretty quite hollow in the middle that looks and feels like it's gonna be a I don't know I just don't know it is stunning I have no idea but I'm gonna roast it and try it weird that it's yellow because we're used to seeing pumpkins as being orange but that doesn't mean it's not gonna taste good very firm as well not a not a fibrous texture and once again really good seeds look at these seeds so I can save them and plant them again and when you're finding the seeds I'll see if I can find you one you can tell if they're gonna grow or not because sometimes the seeds are flat and sometimes they've got a little bit of pudding and it's only the ones that have got the bit of pudding that will grow and sometimes you just grab a seed out of course they're all good because I'm trying to show people the other one let me see no 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 oh that one so I don't know if you can actually see how thin that one is compared to that which has got some rounded form to it so this one's got like a seed husk inside of it and this one doesn't. So this one it won't germinate, but that one will and all of those will. So if you want to save them, put them on some paper towel, put them in a the paper bag to re -sew for next year. All right, that's two. Oh, a bit juicy. Let's wipe, wash my hands. Right, this one I've grown before. Turks turban but they've always been so beautiful I've never cut into it so I'm gonna cut into it love this one let's get rid of the guts from the last one Okay. 
Well, I think I've just cut through 50% of any viable seed. <laughs> Whoopsies. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, no, there's some in there. That was a good one. Um, yeah, that's cool. That's, once again, very firm flesh there. Nice and hard. So I reckon that'll be a good roaster. That's your Turk's Turban. Very gently. Obviously, I'm up for surge, Surgeon Awards because I'm so good at that. And the last pumpkin pumpkin we've got is one called Lakota, L-A-K-O-T-A. That was gifted to me by a lovely lady in Adelaide. And this is the second year I've grown it. So last year I kept the seeds and I've planted it again. I think, I'm expecting this to be orange orange, but we'll just see. Can't guarantee anything around here. Oh. <clears throat> Sterilize your instruments like a good surgeon. <laughs> No, nope. you know how I said it was going to be orange orange? Well, I was wrong. It's another golden one. Ugh. Gross. Okay, firm. Once again, really firm texture. And I've cut through most of the seeds again. So that's there's an art to that. <laughs> oh, you've got to have fun. Now, these other ones I've got here is not a pumpkin, but it's a melon. You would think it's some sort of pumpkin. It's called Peel de Sapo. Now I've probably pronounced that wrong. There's a fair chance of that. Um, but it's actually a type of rock melon. And it's actually been quite proactive. I've, I've eaten maybe three or four of these already. And there's quite a few more here. So let's... Um, oh, this is my cucumber one, by the way. In case you haven't seen that before. Look at that cute little... Oh. It was just there. It's gone. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, professional here. Just, just get rid of the guts of that last one. I could probably slice this, but you know, when you've got machinery, machine here. pretty sure the last time I cut this was lime green, but I really don't want to like predict anything at the moment. You saw how good I got that one with the dark orange. It's not at all. juicy oh wow that's very juicy okay so oh lots of seeds um peel the sapo and oh gosh that smells like beautiful honeydew beautiful ripe honeydew melon um just ignore the fact that that looks like boogers there don't don't worry about that that's not snot that's just rock melon guts it's totally fine um but yeah so and that's been productive so definitely has been a rock melon year this year oh and this although this is so this is a squash um, and I let it mature on the plant and then it hardened off and this, this has actually been sitting out in the garden bed for the last two months um, and it's still firm and solid and so some of these things can be just ornamental for fact for the fact like look at it the more and more I look at a lot of this stuff in the garden the more I see underwater connection like the garden of the sea as opposed to the garden of the land some things remind me so much so to me that's um, like a starfish or some sort of sea creature um, but absolutely beautiful and because it's hardened off and off the plant these ones now I've cut them obviously we need to be using them so um, Emma and I who's filming hello Emma mm -hmm. um, we'll definitely be having the challenge of what to do with all this pumpkin now but that's that's the fun part that's why we grow it but this sort of thing can actually be ornamental as well because I don't know about you but that would freak so many people out oh, that bit did not just break off that's meant that to happen it's totally fine um, but anyway ornamental ornamental and lovely peel to sapo Turks turban Lakota, some French, uh, like Ursine de Gallo de something, you know, there's like a comma and there's an X in it somewhere. That's all I got. Uh, this one, no idea. No idea what it is. But the thing I want to kind of 
hopefully excite you about is that there are so many heirloom interesting pumpkins out there and I find it really exciting to grow things like this rather than just of course I've got some jack pumpkin out there and I like to grow butternut as well but if you're gonna grow something why wouldn't you grow something that's just so interesting this one I'll definitely now that I see the color of that I'll definitely be growing that one again um, and it's just it's just such a interesting gorgeous thing that you can grow in the garden They're, they all grow as easily as each other and I often find that heirloom varieties are sometimes better than the new modern varieties because they were around before any of the diseases were and I find them to give you much more productive um, harvest and less looking after so I don't know if that helps anyone out there as well convince you to have a go at these things if you want to find out more information and other seasonal tips and hints have a look on my website it's thepostandrail.com.au there's a blog post there you can check out which has seasonal information but sign up for the newsletter we send it out every fortnight and it gives you an idea of what it is time to do in the garden um, and where you can buy supplies from so thanks very much for watching and we'll see you later